Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I've got quite a few things to share. First of all, I'm going to show you some things that I picked up from the charity shop and like a local craft store. Okay, so first of all, I picked up these window stickers, but I won't be using them as window stickers if I just lay them down there just so you don't so much, you know, see so much of the glare. Now, my idea for this, before some of you start going, oh no, what's going to happen here? I... I actually think they're really lovely retro looking images. I think they've got a real kind of 60s, 70s feel about them. When I look at like Easter cards, these are the kind of images that were on them around those, you know, kind of around that kind of time. So what I've done, they were only a pound each, but I'm gonna cut, I'm not sure which ones yet, but I'm gonna have them as like the backdrop in the shadow boxes because I wanna make a few of them. This one here, I think will look so nice because they're windows, let's have a little look, so I haven't actually opened them. Well, I actually thought it was one big sticker, but I'm even happier that it's not because the idea is that, let's see how this peels off because they are really cheap. Is that gonna peel the white? So it should just peel off the plastic, but again, if it, oh yeah, there we go. It's just gotta catch it on the right. So you can see there how they would go on the window. And I think they're really quite cute. So I mean, if you've got children or you're, or you're doing a nice Easter party, then I think they could look quite good. But what I'm gonna try and actually do is peel it off with the white on. So I'll probably just trim around that because I think it's gonna stand out better against that white background. And then you've got these great big eggs again, which I can cut out. And they're just gonna be more of the backgrounds to some of my Easter projects. I wanna do some really nice kind of decor and I wanna do a wreath. And again, I just think, you, if you cut that out with the white and then put it onto some grey board or even to some like MDF or something, if you maybe want to put your wreath outside, I won't be. But um, that would look lovely like as the centre of the wreath and then you have all the yellow and the oranges and the greens all coming off around it and eggs stuck all on it and a big bow and yeah, that's my idea. <laughs> So, I, you know, loads of you always say this, Sam, you always see things differently for what they're intended, and I do. You know, I was with my mum, actually, when we were in there, and I picked these up, she went, oh, no, what are you thinking? I said, no, I think they're really lovely images. I just, I do, I think that's absolutely cool. I mean, look, it's just so, so cute. And I think it's, it's all the colours I love, it's bright, it's happy, and I just think it's going to work really well for Easter. Plus, again, if you cut that out against that, you could have that on a gift tag, um, you know, or yeah, you could have it as a big gift tag on a gift bag, but you could certainly have these to decorate the bottom of a gift bag or a gift box, you know, a nice topper, something like that. So yeah, there they are. So these are from Chaplin's, which is a just a local, it's not just crafts, it's just a, like a homeware store. It's really kind of, it's a cheapy shop, but it's got some, you know, you've got to hunt through it, but you can find some nice things. And um, in terms of the brand name, that's all it is. But I reckon you can pick this up you know, in lots of places, probably the pound shop will have something similar, but they've rebranded it with their packaging, maybe the range and craft sensations, you know, it's that kind of stuff. It's, you know, it's, this is, um, you know, made by one company and then other companies go and will put their kind of branding onto it. So have a little look, you know, you might find them, but they, there were four there. So they're the four different designs. You've got the chicks, the rabbit, and then the brown rabbit, because that's more of the grey ones. And then the chicks again with the baby chicks. Yeah, because that's... Well, anyway, you can see. But that's lovely, that Happy Easter again. I don't think my shadow box is going to be that big. It, max it would be is 12 inches. So it might just... Let's have a little look, actually, because I did think about that one, but then I thought, no, it's probably too big. Oh, no, it could... It could go in. It could go towards the top of it, actually. So, well, watch this space. But I know... Lots of you do like to make those kind of things. So I thought if you see what I'm going to be using, you know, grab it now because a lot of this stuff, it just goes. And by the time it is, you know, like a week before Easter or something, this stuff isn't really there anymore. So, yeah, that was those that I picked up. But I also got some other Easter bits from the same shop. I picked up these, but I'm not using them for what they look like. Some of you may like this. That's fine. I, however, want it for the yellow tinsel. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't get tinsels, you know, at, uh, you know, this time of year. You know, they've all been either sent back, you know, the stocks that they didn't sell or they've, you know, put it away. There's a massive knot on that, so I'll cut the back and at least then I can use the bow bit if I want to. But this is how I got a lot of the tinsel that I used for my shadow box for Christmas. And all you do, these are a pound, okay, so really inexpensive but you actually get a heck of a lot on there. And if you find at the beginning, there we go, it's just hooked around and you just have to unhook it. 
and I just think it's a an inexpensive way let's take that eye off there <laughs> packing this apart um, to you know get this tinsel because tinsel trim can be quite expensive and you don't always get a lot some companies will give you like three meters or something where you get a lot more here and then that's now the end but I can now look at that it's lovely and it's gonna well, you know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use it as trims around the shadow box. I'm going to use it as handles on gift bags. I'm going to use it to disguise little lights and things like that. But, you know, I'll sit there, put that all, take it all off, sorry, and then I'll put it into like a plastic envelope, you know, the packaging that I put my envelopes in. But just start off again, and they're just hooked. And then you have got this kind of shell. It's like a almost like a template that you could, you know, use for other crafts you might want to put some I don't know maybe you could put a decoupage on it kind of you know put something on it first of all to give it a base I don't know there's I know there's lots of you that do this kind of stuff but that one's got a bit caught there but hopefully it gives you just an idea again just when you see things look at what they're actually made of or um, you know the fabrics that have been used and stuff and you'd be surprised I'm always taking the things apart <laughs> and it's funny we saw these because it was the same place where I got the other ones where I got the red and because um, Trimcraft done some as well but I wanted some more and on one of the decorations it was really thick and really wiry so we were there having a look and I said yeah it's the same thing so now when I see these for three quid I mean yeah I think I've got a nice amount that's certainly going to last you know a while and you've got a little bit of orange there as well let's just take that one off because that would be a nice little extra and you can join them together because there's so much going on with this you could you know just wrap the wire around the next one so you've got it all continuing um you wouldn't see the join but there that's what it is so i'd love to know your ideas for using that as well um because uh i'm not entirely sure it's not really my kind of thing so that was those okay and then I got two bags of these fluffy pipe cleaners so I brought two bags because you only get one of each color in the bag and I thought these would make amazing handles on your gift bags for Easter or for anything but look and they are really really thick very soft and you imagine two of those on your gift bags oh gosh literally I was like I need them and I'm probably going to end up going back and getting more bags because for again a pound I think they are brilliant. I really, really do. And um, yeah, definitely. Look, just fluff them up because they've obviously got a bit, you know, misshapen in the bag. But how cool is that? Again, look, look how lovely they're gonna, I would have that on a real bag. <laughs> in fact, my bag collection is pretty wacky anyway. So um, it wouldn't surprise my friends if I did have this, but I think it's brilliant. Let's take these ones out as well, just so you can get an idea but they're really strong and they're a nice length they are yeah 12 inches so yeah you imagine these oh, I can't wait I cannot wait for the Easter series it's going to be fun it's going to be wacky everything I love so yeah if you can grab these again it's that same brand but I think places like the pound shop and that might start having these coming in and the range and have a little look online look on like eBay and put in like fluffy pipe cleaners because you know this isn't new they've been around before so um oh, I just want to display them now in my craft room as well because I've got lots of like colorful pipe cleaners and things like that just displayed so aren't they gorgeous and they really do kind of swell up <laughs> they look like colorful slugs when they're uh yeah kind of brought back to life I mean look it looks really kind of sorry for itself there but just uh yeah, I am in love with these. They're even better now I've taken them out of the packaging. So I think, again, bargain. Don't need to spend out loads of money to get these really fun things. I think the children will love them as much as the adults because I would love to have a gift bag with these fluffy handles on them. So yeah, hopefully you can get hold of those as well. And then I just picked up some more little bits to go into the shadow boxes and just as nice decorations. I'm going to build up nice little things. You're going to love it. I think you will anyway. And these are, it's an Easter egg garland, so it is all joined but I will take it apart. Just have a little look, take off the um, packaging there. Take that bit off there, just so you can see. Maybe you do want to keep it as a garland, that's totally fine, because it is quite pretty, but they obviously just want it hanging down because they've got no other hanging piece there, but you could easily attach something. But a garland to me hangs you know, from one end to another, but 
I guess that's just how you're used to seeing them, but this here is just intended to just hang from the top there and just dangle down. But again, I thought it was quite sweet, but I'm probably gonna end up just trimming it right off. So I've just got these, um, they've all got like um, sequins in them. And I just like the colors again. It's all gonna match everything else that I've been buying. So it's, um, yeah, it should be, should all look really, really nice when, um, yeah, we start crafting with it all. And then I just picked up these couple of bits from the charity shop. So these here are, they. I'm sure I saw a date on them somewhere, but I can't at the minute. Anyway, these are Moorhead ink printed in the Netherlands, distributed by Create, Ready Creative Cards in Germany. But they are decoupage, but they just, they're those vintage images that I love. They're all different. Um, and I like to just, these are things that I put together kind of off camera really. So I think I've got two of each. So there's that one there. And um, yeah, I save them as well. I save the images just for my own personal use. This is not to sell. And uh, I just adore them. I think it's really, really lovely. <laughs> Look at this, when you layer it all up. Um, and there's the two for that one. Love the little girl with her ice cream there and the little puppy. And then there's those ones again. So that's that one there. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, I've just blocked my light there. Really sweet. And then you've got the Christmas one there with the hedgehog. Oh, see, I didn't, I haven't looked right through these because they were all in packaging in the shop. It was only a pound for all of this. Look, isn't that adorable? And the puppy, oh. So yeah, I'm sure it was two of each. Oh, I love the penguins. Oh, and the hedgehogs, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, uh. Love them, love them. And then there's two of that one. And then, again, look at these. Aren't they adorable? Oh, look. No, I think these are all ones, so maybe those ones got used, but that's fine, that's okay. I just I just love them. I just thought they were so nice. I mean, there are tons of stuff there. There was a lot of hunky-dory um, decoupage and stuff. I don't really do a lot of that. But these ones I just really enjoy because you can just add them to anything, you know, just do that decoupage there and then have, you know, new baby and pop it on a card and they're just really, really sweet. As sweet as this is, I don't know if the hair's just a bit harsh. It seems, you know, this style just seems very quite severe for such a dinky little baby. But anyway, that's just my personal opinion. And then I picked up these here, which were 50p in the charity shop and I'm going to use them on a gift bag. So, I mean, they're for sewing, but you just add a bit of hot glue and pop them on a, a nice gift bag or like some kind of luggage gift bag or something. We'll see. But um, yeah, pick those up. Then I grabbed some more of my A3 grey board. Love this. So I've used most of it, um, the last of it. I've got scraps now on the bureau and on the, all the dividers and things like that. But this is the um, very nice, thick two mil. Um, but this is from a Amazon store. Again, I'll link it below. It, it's always arrived really well and um, they have a big sign on it, you know, saying do not bend. I mean, that is hard to bend because it's solid, but it also comes in this big plastic sleeve. So I keep it in that and I just pop it on its side on my shelf and I can just pull out, you know, when I need it. But uh, yeah, just got some more of that one. And then I've just stocked up on some more hot press watercolor paper. So I've used most of mine up now because I do use it with a lot of my stamping. Hot press is really good because it's, well, it's exactly that. It's pressed hot and uh, it creates a super smooth surface, just like a smooth cardstock, but it means you can stamp beautifully onto it get really crisp images and then use your watercolour paints. So if you are someone that loves to stamp and loves watercolour, sometimes when you use a cold press, you'll get all those, you know, the just the natural and I guess familiar characteristics of a watercolour paper that we're used to. But it doesn't always work well with a stamped image. You can use the reverse side, which is smoother, but you'll still get maybe bits of your stamped image that might not come out as well. And if you push and stamp too much on a cold, on a, yeah, cold press, the image doesn't become so crisp. Whereas if you use a hot press, because it is so smooth anyway, it's just like printing onto a normal smooth cardstock. So I picked up this, this is a pack of two. These are 12 99 again from Amazon. And you get, is it 12 sheets? Yeah, 12 sheets. So I've got 24 there, but you know, they are like an off white. You can see the white of the paper here and then the actual color of the watercolor. It's more of a, a slightly creamier white, um, but that's fine because I color on it anyway. You don't, you know, don't see any of that. But yeah, people do ask, you know, what I use. So it's a hot press, but I, I also look for the deals because some hot press can be very, very expensive because of the process in making it. 
but this is you know one of the better values and I've had this one before so yeah again I'll share all the links for that one and then while I was there I was looking because I also like to just stamp and play around and just do my own little images that don't always go onto a card so I treated myself to this and this is the Paul Rubens and it's a block watercolour block hot press look at it so big and pretty love it and um, you just slide off the sides this is 300 GSM and again it's hot press and it's a block so here you will see there's all the papers and you do you can get like a special kind of spatula but if you use any kind of blunt but but flat object she says that's got glue on it I don't want that ruining but you just slide it in I've got a better one somewhere actually because I've, I've used this kind of stuff before but you just pop it in and then you just go around and you just do that like so and then I can, you know, stamp my images on it and put them in little frames, put them on cards or whatever. It's just, it's a novelty thing. I just really like it. It's it's very nice. It's very pretty. And um, yeah, just thought I'd, I'd get it. Okay, I'm, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. But I do also use it a lot. So, um, you know, these things, as lovely as they are, they don't actually last long for me because I do do a lot of things off camera, especially in the evenings where it's like my downtime just to play around with stamps and things. I love creating little like little note cards and things and I might just not put any sentiment on them and then just send them out to a friend and just write a little message on them so that it's that kind of thing that I'll probably do with this so I don't need that anymore but again if anybody it's a nice gift as well so it might not be something that you think necessary for yourself but if you know somebody then I do think they're lovely gifts and you can get different colours as well that's that one and then Craft Stash have sent me some wonderful stuff I was so excited um they know I really do love anything underwater and Paper Discovery um Olga she's created some beautiful things and the latest collection is underwater is it called underwater world I think it is yeah underwater world and uh yeah this is what I've got so I cannot wait to create some oh I've got some wonderful ideas I think you're going to love them and you really enjoyed the tunnel fold card that I used with the kit four which was the paper discovery and uh, it's just beautiful it's all those little details I think I know I enjoy and for me it, yeah we all like to have maybe uh, something where we can just make up a quick card but personally for me crafting is going up into your craft room when you've got a day off or some free time and sitting down and stamping and colouring and die cutting and just arranging things and using your Nuvo drops and all kinds of bits and pieces to create something, even if it took you six hours. <laughs> that's for me, that's crafting. And that's what I feel Paper Discovery does because I don't feel Paper Discovery are a quick card make. You can certainly make things quicker than others, but there's just so much detail within the collections um, and again if none of you are familiar with this and you haven't seen my tunnel card and the other beautiful tutorials that I've done using Paper Discovery product then um, just check up the links up here and you'll be able to see because like the clock you know um, time is it time was on our hands collection that beautiful pocket watch still one of my favorites anyway so first of all you've got these here which is your it's a shaker mix it's, sh it's fish and shells confetti Olga has done an amazing card where the fish are like jumping in and out of the vellum. It looks awesome. It really, really does. So I want to try and take a bit of that and put my kind of twist on it. And uh, I've got some, yeah, I've got some nice ideas to use this. So you get the gold fish and you get like the orangey, almost holographic seashells there. They're really, really lovely. Take one of each out there. You can see it's just got that it catches the light and then these here they remind me of the fish you, you still get them now you get them in like christmas crackers you know the ones where you put them on your hand and it, if you curl up you're in love and if the head's down and the tail just curls up you you're horrible i don't know you know what i mean it's like <laughs> it's meant to meant to tell you about your you know your personality um but it's actually just to do with the heat on your hand but anyway uh, and then you get your dies and stamps and all sorts so the dies this is into the pond die set and I like the change in packaging. So anybody, again, that's had this um, before, it was the same, you know, um, paper packaging, but this was stuck down. So you'd rip it and it would all rip all this. Whereas now they've just got this little tab. So if you like to keep your packaging, this is great. And it's, it, it, that's it, it comes like that. There's no sticky pad, nothing on it. We've got some great sizes here. I mean, look at the frog. 
So he will lie down across like the pond. Again, you'll see all that in a minute. The scenes that you can create with this are brilliant. You've got the fish, you've got all your different pond kind of, um, you know, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pond weed, you know, plants. <laughs> I know there is a proper name. Anyway, and then you've got the fish, but the thing I love about the fish is that they are from a bird's eye view. So that's the top of the fish. So the, the you know, what um, the inspiration that's been put together with these is, is brilliant and I just can't wait to start doing some myself. It's these kind of cards that I always, I mean, I don't, I do sell my cards, but I don't sell them as in, um, I like, you know, right, I'm going to, sell them at that craft show or whatever I just put mine all into a big basket and then when people come around to visit they basically leave a donation but the ones that always go are underwater themed you know mermaids or if it's fish you know if it's um octopuses in the sea they, those cards always do so well and I just really enjoy doing them so I know that these are you know they won't hang around for long so I get the fun creating and then people enjoy them as well afterwards so yeah, so when people ask, do I sell my cards? Yes, in a way, but it's they just go into this basket and then people just, like I said, they come around for a coffee and then they're like, oh, you got any cards? And they have a little route through and then off they go. So <laughs> that's how it is here. Then I've got this one, which is the Elements die set. So this gives you your lily pads, you've got your herring, you've got a kingfisher, you've got your frogs, you've got the lilies, you've got a bird, dragonfly. And again, these are great sizes. Look at that. The heron's really big. It's going to look stunning. And then again, you've got your frogs there. Nice size. Look at the lily pads. Really lovely. I think you're going to love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love doing all this. And this is what Olga's dies are all about. It's creating that fantasy-like kind of world. Um, I love Olga's imagination. I think she just completely goes off into her own place and it's brilliant. So this one here is beyond the sea underwater world so you get your you got the turtle there you've got lobster crab jellyfish all different shells starfish you've got the seahorse and then more seaweed kind of things and again you can get an idea of the sizes there. I mean look that's a you know really nice big one there and the, there's the turtle so these are all going to work well and then we've got the stamp sets. So this one here is your sentiment stamp set. So you've got some really nice ones here. Gone fishing. That's always great. Get well soon. Happiness comes in waves. Water your roots so your soul can blossom. That's nice. Life is simple. Just add water. Water special day <laughs> to a very special friend. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. That's nice. Go with the flow. Deep is sympathies. Birthday fishes. And you've been so kind. Nice, aren't they? Really like them. And I love that beautiful... Um, picture there of the the water lilies so I'll be able to colour those as well so uh, yeah that's good and then this one here is around the pond so again love the fish can't wait I just can't wait to stamp and colour all these they're gonna look lovely love this one here as well and then you've got another one there with the lily and the pads so that's good and then you've got this one here which is your underwater so again, it's all those kind of dyed images, but in a picture form now. And um, love the starfish there, the two kind of different kinds. And um, yeah, it's just going to look really, really nice when all this comes together. And then these, I'm really excited to use these ones. So my two favourites are these. So this is, this is the Podge End Podge, <laughs> Pond Edge die set. And it's a nice big six by six plate. And so you've got your shaped die here the edge one which will actually create your card shape okay and then this one here is your embossing plate so you can see there's no cut edges on this it will emboss this beautiful um, pond kind of edge to your card and then that will cut the aperture in the middle if you want it if not you could just have that and that and then stamp you know all of your stamped images all within the pond there or you can cut this out and then you can make shakers, you can make tunnel cards, all that kind of stuff. So I really like that one. I love the size of it. And this one here is your pebble pond cut and emboss. So it can, I guess it kind of works in a very similar way to this one. So, you know, you may be someone that would prefer to have this kind of shape because this, the style is different. It coordinates with this. So I'd like to see 
how that works but if you see that one there it is a different shape so this is pebble pond and then that one there is it just says pond, pond edge um, so again I'll play around with both and see what kind of looks that we get but um, I just think it's great that you, it will cut that out I guess the difference with that is, is you've got the option to not have it um, with the hole without you know you can have it without the aperture with this it will always cut that center but I love the shape of it you can see I oh know that's the one it coordinates with that's the shape that you get from that this one here so it's really really nice I love that one then you get two embossing folders and this one here's gravel don't have a gravel one but it's a really nice it almost could be an animal print as well so you know you can certainly use that in other ways you could use it as um, maybe a design for a house you know that could be the outside of the house so it's um, it's got many uses you don't just have to use it but it's ornamental gravel embossing folder and then this one here again you could get away with that as some kind of animal print but this is meant to look like you know when you've got a beautiful kind of stream and it's crystal clear and you've got the green kind of like leaves and stuff that's kind of like moving under the water that's that look and this is your shimmering water embossing folder really really like it all um five by seven those two and then that's six by six again i think that's why i'm drawn to paper discovery because she works in the same kind of sizes that i do i love five by seven and six by six and then these here these are absolutely stunning so these are your vellum packs and you have beyond the sea around the pond and beautiful shells but there's different designs so that is the paper discovery under the water collection and uh, yeah i can't wait to start making some beautiful things with that and then i've got these plates here these die cutting plates and it's the double-sided ones so it's uh, crafter's companion this is the gemini collection i do have the flowers which i've been using and i do like that you can just whiz it through and it's all cut for you but if none of you have seen this before i think i opened this one or did i open that no i must have, i think i did do both and um so you basically take this off you will put your desired coloured cardstock on this side and then another coloured cardstock on that side you have to have the special plates which I have run it through your dye machine and you will have two things cut and then that one will go over that one and you'll get all this detail coming through so you can create these layered effects in you know no time at all really but then you can add all the extras to it as well so I'm looking forward to seeing how they come together and I like the way that they've done this one here because I have similar dies so although that size I think it's six by four I will put it on a six by six and then this area here I'll be able to do something like this so I think they're going to make really nice cards and um, I love butterflies, that's why I've got the butterfly one. And then this one here is just like floral kind of um, effect. So I'm not so keen on the inspiration. I don't like that black and the pinks and stuff. I'm certainly going to have a play around and um, try something a bit different. But and you can see there how it looks with that layered effect. And you can paper piece as well with other colours. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to look, look really, really nice. And... Um, yeah, just something a bit different to do so i'm going to just pop all that back in there and then lastly i've got this one here which is a bundle you can buy them separately as well and this is the scrapbooking album for your scrapbook layouts and then this is their new bloom and wonder first edition 12 by 12 paper pad it's beautiful you get 48 sheets it's so just packed full of beautiful designs you know i'm on the design team for Trimcraft, so um I love, you know, it's very rare there's anything really that I don't enjoy, but look at this. This is pearlized, so you can just see catching the light there. And you get three of each design. So there's that one there. Then you've got your spot UV. I think that is that one. Let's have a little look. One pearlized design, two glitter designs, and two spot UV, and then half double sided. So this is your spot UV. Look at that, and that's lovely to fussy cut as well. You see all the moths. So we've got those three. And then you've got, this is nice, you have this kind of embellishment page. So I'm going to have fun using those. You get three of that one. Look at this with the peacock. You can see all the glitter. So these are your glittered ones. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I was saying it's so nice to have all new colours and different palettes of, you know, colour combos and stuff now. Because coming out of Christmas, you know, you're just surrounded by those Christmas colours. So it's, it's just nice to have something different. Again, this is another glitter one with the peacock feathers and then this one here it's just a close-up of the peacock's tail which i really like 
and then you've got this kind of distressed chevron effect almost looks more like parquet flooring actually when you look closer and um, I love that colour look at this one Ooh, goes with my jumper in fact how nice a yellow cardstock with this I think it's going to look gorgeous it's a nice thick cardstock weight as well this is 200 gsm so that's a good 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 weight and then you've got a nice black and white one there gorgeous and then you go onto your double sided so you've got this like funky animal print i like that one and you've got this one here and then on the reverse and they always do a nice reverse so that is yeah there you go you can see so they all match well love that that is gorgeous and then we've got this one here so the back of this one yeah is that one there love the brush strokes it's really cool and you've got a, like another kind of like it's almost like an abstract kind of animal print and that's got the stripes as the reverse and then oh this is nice so this is your it's almost like aztec kind of and then look at that Sorry, I'm a bit off. You can still see it anyway because it's just repeated, but that's gorgeous. And then we've got this like doodle. Oh, look at the back. <gasps> Love it. They work so well together. Really, really gorgeous. Again, gift bags. So I'm, I'm stocked up on papers now. So I cleared out all of my ones from last year and I give a lot of them to my mum and then the scraps I give to my sister's school. And then I've you know got all these lovely ones to start playing with again. This is, there's only a very few paper packs that I have kept on to or kept held hold of, that's the word. Because um, generally I am very much a use it, get on with it and then move on to something else because there's always great papers coming out every year. But there's a couple that I have kept just because I do really, really love them. Look at that again love the moths really really nice to have yeah just think it looks really lovely and i love this like rusty orange that you you know you see a lot throughout this collection it's just slightly different and i think that is it so yeah that's it and, and then this is the scrapbook album really nice i've got a lot of their scrapbook albums and um they're filled up and this is the snap and load ones so they're expandable as well but you just open up here and then you just lift these up and you can take off this piece like so and then you take this cardstock piece out this grey board take them out if you want to add more to it that is um, that's one way and then just to add your scrapbooks your layouts is top loading in these plastic sleeves so just pop that back in and then it just pushes down and clips in and that's the snap and load and then here you can just pop them in so you can put one in the front and back and they're slightly bigger so they are 12 in height i believe but slightly wider oh no and slightly longer so that you know there is no um yeah you can see there because it goes right into here so you're looking at about well let's have a little look the actual thing is about 12 and a half the actual pocket yeah the pocket's 12 and a quarter by just over 12 so it just gives you that room so if you've got any bulk because I do tend to make my scrapbook layouts quite bulky I do still do them I know I've stopped the kind of Sunday scrapbook shares I do have three videos still to edit and um, I will get around to doing it and I still do do it I love it and it's what I've started off doing so I will if I can I'll get around to sharing some more it's the editing more than anything a scrapbook layout I can sit there for just I don't talk in them I do voiceover for them so I have to edit it all down into like a three minute video that's how I do mine and I just briefly talk over the top and explain to you what I'm doing but it's sitting down and doing the edit from something that could be three hours long to three minutes you know you put it on high speed but you've got to take bits and pieces out of it and stuff um, it's just doing it it's just very time consuming it's actually much quicker for me to do a normal tutorial that I talk in which is pretty much the same kind of time that it is that you you see it in, unless it's a very long one, like the storage boxes or something. But um, yeah, that's the reason. So um, I will, I will at some point. <laughs> it's on my list. Okay, so that is everything for this week, or kind of like a week and a half. Next week, I'm hoping will be magazines because I'll get the new um, issues dropping through my door. Can't wait now to start creating with the Easter product because I've got the ideas, but now I've actually got the product here. I can really start to kind of 
you know, do a few um, prototypes and see how that's all going to come together. And just start using this. I mean, like I was, you know, I kind of touched on, I don't, I love underwater, but I don't have a lot of pond kind of dyes. I've got the odd goldfish, but I just don't have this kind of thing. And it's just going to be so nice to add to my stash because it's timeless, you know, People have had ponds in their gardens and enjoy wildlife and fishing and things like that for centuries. So it's those kind of things that I enjoy that um, I just know are going to be used. And it's the kind of thing that once people know I've got it, I know my friends will say, oh, my granddad's got a beautiful pond. He loves it. Could you do a card for him? So I think it's going to, yeah, definitely I'm going to enjoy that one. And then the papers make some beautiful bags, try out those double-sided dies. I think they might work well with the paper actually. And then this is just for me in the evenings just to practice my stamps and things like that. Cause what I tend to do is like I'd use these stamps and I'll create a nice little scene and um, I've got my mask in fluid and I kind of paint and do all that kind of thing with them. So yeah, we will see. I might share a few photos. I know I say that and then I don't cause I'm, I just, I don't know, you know, some things you just want to keep to yourself. So anyway, <laughs> this has gone on way too long. I always get excited, but I know you enjoy them as well. So thank you for watching. As always, all the links will be shared below and I'll be back very soon with a tutorial featuring this product. Thanks for watching. Bye.